All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another video we reacting to from Daryl Mays. It's called "If If Children Were." Dang, I can't read it. If children were honest with parents, I ain't gonna waste too much of y'all time. So let's hop on this video. Duh! What are you doing? Why nothing, father? Just sitting here waiting an order from you, of course. As a matter of fact, what am I doing? Sitting here on the couch, playing video games, having fun. Have I lost my mind? There's too much work to do around here. So tell me, how can I be of assistance to you, sir? Need me to go around and dust? Do you need me to vacuum the floors? Need me to mop the driveway for you? You just say the word, and I'll take care of it. What it look like I'm doing, four eyes? I'm playing the game. In other words, I'm minding my business. The same thing you need to be doing. And no, you better not ask me to do nothing, because as you can see, I'm preoccupied at the moment. Matter of fact, make yourself useful and bring me a snack. Thank you, peasant. <laughs> Don't ask me. As a kid, I always wanted to say that, but I knew I get the fire snap out of me. Man, I can't talk to that. I ain't say it right. I know I get the fire slap out of me. Because, bro, you could me. You could be a kid in your own little world and your parents just come miss you out of nowhere. I'm talking about even if you was outside just shooting ball, what you out there doing? Well, it look like I'm I'm playing ball, but and now I know I ain't finna be playing ball no more. And what I'm doing. What it look like? Yeah, I got them big old glasses still, KC? 21, can you do something for me? Can you hit a little rich flip? <laughs> Dog, get in here and wash these dishes out! Huh, that's strange. I don't remember eating today, but of course I don't mind washing out your di I mean, our dishes. I mean, it's only fair. I mean, you did cook for both of us, right? No, I did not. You grown? Cook for yourself. Well, either way, teamwork make the dream work, right? Matter of fact, Dad, you come have a seat. Let me take care of that. It should have been done already. I should have cleaned them the moment they hit the sink. I am disappointed in myself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go teach myself a lesson. And then I'm going to sit me down here and do them dishes. How many times has he told me to do the damn dishes? It ain't my dishes. You ate this morning, not me. You washed the damn dishes out. Must have got me twisted. Talking about coming wash. Matter of fact, you know what? I did. I felt this. <laughs> I felt that part with my soul. Cause bro, I remember one day, this one I um, I was still in high school around the time I first started making money. And shoot, I know for like the first week after I got my chick, I did not eat nothing at the house. Everything I bought was already either pre-cooked, so all I had to do was just warm it up in the microwave. When I get done, throw it away in the trash. I use plastic forks, plastic spoons, Plastic butter knives. I have everything already thrown away. And somehow, I still had to wash the dishes. Even though I didn't miss up no dishes. I didn't drink from no cup. I drank bottled water like a normal person. It just... I don't know what it is. I'm so glad we had a dishwasher back then. Because shoot, my parents would say... Well, my mom, my dad didn't really make me do no inside work i used to help him with a whole bunch of outside work but that's a different story my mom be like watch the dish and then the thing about my mom every time she told me to watch the dish nine times out of ten she getting ready to leave later and we had a dishwasher so i just throw him in the dishwasher i have a cup this morning i tell you what you want to wash it i tell you what i tell you what you want me to wash the dishes i wash the dishes i tell you what where is my cup <laughs> I wash, I wash, I wash our dishes. There, I washed out mine, and you wash out yours. I ain't your damn slave. You got me twisted. Damn! Hell! I need help! Help me! That's your right. Damn! Hey! Where you at? That is right. My other pajamas was dirty, so that's why. Where we at? No, I'm coming, Lord. I'm coming. Help! Don't worry, Dad. I'm coming. Help! Damn! I'm coming. I'm coming. I need help. That was wrong. Everything on? Yeah. Can you pass me this remote? That's 
all you needed? Of course, Dad. I'd be happy to grab the remote for you. That's no problem at all. Thank you, Daryl. Hope I didn't trouble you too much. No, Dad, not at all. If you need. A lot of these rubbed me a long way because they reminded me of stuff I actually went through. I don't know about kids now, but it's irking me because all he doing is just explaining our childhoods if you're around that age. I feel like if you're 23, really, if you're 23 and older like I am, you didn't experience this and watching this video just bring back memories that are just hurt the hell out of you. See anything else? Just let me know. I'll draw whatever I'm doing and I'll be on my way. You my dad. Whatever you need, I got you. Well, hey, bro, I mean, wake me up here, by my sleep for a remote. A foot is rub crazy. would be nice. A foot rub is even crazy. They ain't never asked me to do no stuff like that. Say no more. Man, is you serious? You woke me by my sleep and made me run all the way down here for a remote that was sitting beside you the whole time? Hell no! With your lazy ass. How about you get up off your ass and get it yourself? How about that? Waste of my time. Made me get up off my damn sleep if you want my- Then what's so bad about this is like, bro, my mama called me for the remote and like, say for instance, my mom is sitting just like this watching TV, but just imagine this a couch I'm sitting in and the remote will literally be right here like my control and she'll call me she'll be like no and here go me answering back what and they'll never answer back you say what they just be like no what you need mama no and then you finally get up at about the third time what's wrong mom hammering the remote the remote right here all you gotta do is this and I handle it more. I said, why you just couldn't read? I, I used to question that, like, out of everything. I ain't never used to question my parents. But boy, I used to question that. Like, why you didn't just reach over here and grab the remote? She said, well, I wanted to call you. Nah, man, that, nah. My dad, I'd knock you upside your head. Come out of this. <laughs> you know what? I'm moving out. Soon as I hit the lottery, I'm gone. And you better not ask me for a dollar. I'm not giving you a quarter. I'm still trying to hit that ladder. Take me up my sleep. Um, and where do you think you going? I'm just gonna play basketball for a little bit. Not before you make up that bed, wash them dishes, take the trash out, vacuum the attic, dust the porch, fold the mattresses, wipe the ceilings, and scrub the light bulbs. When you finish all that, you ask me, and I'll think about letting you go outside. One. One thing, if my room is clean, I'm, I'm responsible as a kid. I am responsible for, well, I'm speaking for me. I'm not speaking for everybody. As a kid, I was responsible for my room, taking out the trash in my bathroom, and I take out the trash for the house. And I sweep up the hallway where my room lead up to everything else on my little sister. And then, now, every, now I did my part. Now, you didn't do your part. I don't know what to tell you. But we, we grew up fairly, fairly clean because, like, we, we kept everything clean. So, yeah. Don't mind that in the background. All that right there. I know I said I grew up fairly clean, but all that right there is justified. All those are like video games and comic books in a box. So, yeah. Yes, sir, no problem. Dad, I'm so sorry. How did I forget to do my chores? How am I ever going to learn to be a man if I can't even handle my responsibilities around the house? I can't even believe I'm about to walk out the house like that. I'm so glad you caught me. You know what? Forget outside. Forget sports. Forget fun. I promise you, I'm not going to see the light of day until this whole house is sparkling. I would walk back I to my room that on God. Let me ask you something. If I'm doing all that, what the hell are you going to be doing? I ain't got to do nothing. You always talking about your house, your rules. Well, guess what? Your house, your chores. You pay the bills, don't you? Well, then it's your responsibility. So, top, top, get to it. <laughs> you true. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to watch my draws. They're a little funky. Thank you. <laughs> don't let me go outside. <laughs> I know, baby. I know. It's been a long time since I put you to use. What the hell is it?
You look like it's gonna be today. Damn! What's up, Dad? What's wrong? Why the hell you got these clothes laid out on my floor? Oh, no, no, Dad. These shirts are part of the new Shopmates merch summer collection that just dropped. I laid them out so I can take pictures for Instagram. Okay, I might be able to see myself wearing some of these. Them designs fire, ain't it? So, Dad, check these out, right? We did, I just wanna see you laugh. Put that on God, which is my favorite one. We did bless the logo tee. We did laugh every day, and then eat, sleep, pray, repeat. We tried to make some like positive designs so that when people wear them, they feel good, and they make other people feel good too, you know what I mean? So wait a minute, so these mine? Like, you bought these for me? No, these mine, you gotta get your own. <laughs> Pick your damn clothes up! Okay, I get them. Kid's just selfish. He just hating cause he can't have one. Ain't nobody hating. Hurry up, you messing up the video. Bad. Don't never buy me nothing. What about me? I like to be fashionable. Just stingy. Just selfish. But friends, if you want to, you can go to shymatesmerch.com, copy you some of the you know. Alright, uh, okay. Please make the boy happy and go buy some merch. Damn. Back to the video. I don't know how to dead book a lean and make a get one. That boy is just fifth. Donald, get in and make up this bed. Yes, sir, no problem. I'm coming. Whew. Now that I live by myself and got my own place, I do not. I make up my bed probably twice a week. I swear, <laughs> hey, I swear, I swear, I make my bed only like twice a week. Cause like, all I'm gonna do is lay right back down in it. <laughs> And then at the end of the week, I'm going to go wash my blankets. So I make up my bed twice a week. <laughs> Probably like Wednesday. And the day I go wash my blankets. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Dad. Make up the bed for what? Explain this to me. What's the point of making up the bed if I'm just going to get back in it later? That's stupid. Because when you make the bed up, it makes the room Thank look you. cleaner. That's stupid. I'll be honest with you. It sounds like extra work for no reason. I'm not doing that. You want the bed made up so bad, you do it. And then I'll just mess it up again later. <laughs> Duh! What is this? So you think you just gonna be successful in life by failing all your classes, huh? Is that what you think? Well, guess what? You won't be. You need to go to school and pay attention so you can get a good education and a good paying job. You know what, Dad? They told us that's lie all through our school and it made me so mad. And when I finally figured out that grades, they they matter to a certain extent. Like if you're, if your plan is to go to college and study for a degree that's gonna help you get a better job, then yes, your grades matter a lot. Now, if you're going into a trade like welding, construction, stuff like that, to me, the only grades that mattered to me was math, English, and depending on what area of expertise you're studying, probably a little bit of science. Now, you're going into construction or welding, Math for sure, you need that in English because you want to be able to talk to people properly and be able to write your resume and stuff like that. But every other class, I, I really didn't see a point to it. You're right, those grades are unacceptable. I just been so tired after you told me to get a job, so now I'm working 40 hours. Then you said you wanted me to join a basketball team, so now I'm at practice every night. Then they said I need some extra curricular, so I had to join a band. Then I got tutoring on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Not to mention I still got homework every night. Plus I got a girlfriend to make time for, and I want to make time for my friends. But that's no excuse. I guess I just won't sleep at all until I get those grades up. Damn it, you better not. And they better all be A's too. Yes, sir. Wait a minute, maybe I'm tripping, but didn't you drop out? What college did you go to? Where your good education at? Where your good paying job at? Cause every time I ask you for a dollar, you ain't got it. So it kind of sounded to me like you need to be taking your own advice. <laughs> I bet your report card was looking the same as mine, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Trying to tell me what to do. Get your life together. Sir, your auntie Loretta told me to tell you happy birthday and she sent you $200. Oh, for real? She sure did, but don't you worry. I'm gonna hold on to it for you so you don't spend it all. You know what? That's a great idea. If you keep it, I can't get to it. And if I can't get to it, I can't spend it. It makes so much sense. You can just put it with the rest of the money you're saving for me. What money? I ain't got no. I mean, 
Yes, of course I will do that for you, son. You better roll those cameras. Of course I do. Really taunting okay. me with that pepper. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be a dozy! That is good. You want to play? Let's play. Excuse me. I know how to make it. Thanks for looking out, Dad. I'll be rich in no time. Man, you better give me my money. What are the other $400 you supposed to be holding for me? I've been trying to cash that out for the last two weeks. And then you want to ask stupid. Every time I ask you, you're talking about, oh, the bank closed. All right, I tell you what, the bank might not be open, but you know what I'm about to open? A can of whoop ass. How you gonna save my money you can't even save your own? What kind of sense that make? It's my money. If I want to spend it, I can spend it. I don't care if I spend the whole $200 on a bag of magic beans. I can do that because it's my money. Now give it to me. Boy, how come every time I come up here, you on that PS box? Why don't you read a book or do a puzzle or go outside or something? You know what, Dad? You're right. These video games are just rotting my brain. I need to be doing something that stimulates my mind. Something that makes me think. You know what? I'm going to sell my game system. I'm going to do something more productive with my time. Like play chess. Ooh, or I can write a book. Or build a time machine. Thanks, Dad, for always pushing me to be better. First of all, old man, you sound stupid. It's a PS5, not a PS box. Second, how come every time I see you, you complaining? You don't want me downstairs because I'm in your way. You don't want me in the kitchen because I eat too much. You don't want me in the bathroom because I take too Long. You don't want me to go outside, cause if I go outside, I come back in, I stank up the house. I don't know what you want from me. Make up your mind. I ain't hurt nobody. Dang, can't even play the game I paid for. With the money that you gave me for my birthday. Always something with you. Shut up sometimes. Girl, guess what? I finally started my TikTok account. What you think about my dance? I'm gonna be the next viral sensation. What you think? I hear you hit the button. Am I recording? Oh, recording. You pushing 50 years old trying to be a TikToker. I think you should keep doing it. Hey, you never know. You'll blow up in no time. All my friends gonna be so jealous. I'm gonna have a cool day. I'm gonna be the most popular kid on the block. Oh my god, bro. Why you always gotta be so embarrassing? Everybody finna be laughing at me. Ain't you like a honey? Ain't you too old to be trying to do TikTok dances? You need to sit down somewhere. You gonna mess around and break your hip trying to keep up with these kids. TikTok is for young people. And daddy, you a whole lot of things, but young ain't one of them. Your bones make noise when you brushing your teeth. So ain't no way your bones can handle doing TikTok dances. Right. I ain't go Watch. through you this. You want me in the hospital every other week, and I'm gonna be right there beside you, laughing at you. No Boy, I come every time I see you, you on that telephone scrolling through a uh, 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 tick face, Insta snap, chap of music, whatever. It's like you addicted to the damn thing or something. You're right. I am addicted. It's like I just can't put it down. I got a problem. Whenever I'm not on my phone, I just get to itching and scratching, and sometimes I even break out in hives, and it's so bad for my mental health. But I just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until my thumbs go numb, and then I use my toes. I need help, cause I can't help myself. Well, I tell you what, let me help you. Give me that damn phone. Help. <laughs> you wanna know why I'm always on my phone? Cause everything I need is on my phone. What else could I possibly need? Why don't you go outside and visit a friend or something? For what, why would I do that when I could just FaceTime them? Well, why don't you go buy some board games and play them? Why would I go buy some board games and I could just download it for free? Well, hey, how about you go pick up some food for us to eat for dinner? Why would I go pick it up when I could just do that shit? <laughs> Disney. Son, what I'm saying is you need to go outside and be social with other people. What I gotta go outside to be social for? That's why they call it social media. Just forget it. Forget it. Them kids just lazy. What do you got an attitude for? Maybe I should download a new parent. Mm. Uh, you seem awfully tired this morning. I know you ain't stay up all night playing that video game. No, Dad, of course not. I actually stayed up all night doing job applications. I applied to seven places. I know you've been working real hard lately, and so I just wanted to get a job to help, you know, help out where I can with certain bills. Even if I gotta miss out on sleep, it's okay with me. That's the least I can do after everything you've done for me. Man, Dad, I was up all night on 2K. Purple Kid at 52 was talking all that junk again. Talking about he could beat me in any game. So we played every game in my lobby, and I beat his ass in all of them. I'm talking about uh, uh, 2K, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Apex, Roblox, Pac-Man, Goldfish, all of them. Bro, I told him he can't see me. I'm too nice. So yeah, I was up on that. Boy, do you know what time yeah, it is? Them days. I ain't got my watch on me. Where you been? Oh my God, Dad, I, I'm so sorry. I was supposed to be home hours ago. I got stuck in traffic for like four hours. It was nothing I could do. You ain't gonna believe this. It was a herd of buffalo on roller skates having a birthday party in the middle of the highway. Can you believe that? And the whole time, all I can think about is, oh my God, I'm gonna miss my curfew. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Daryl, why didn't you just call me and let me know what was going on? Well, I couldn't call because I, you know, I, I ain't had no signal. So, I couldn't, but I'm here now. And you have my word, it won't happen again. Next time, I'm gonna just drive right through them. Boom! We gonna have buffalo for dinner. Bon appetit. Hey, party at the pit. All right. Fresh up, fresh up. <laughs> that was crazy.
crazy. What's up, Dad? Oh, I just came from a party at my boy Jeremy house. That thing was lit as hell. Now, before you say anything, I already know what you're thinking. Oh, Dare, you went to an unsupervised party where it was probably drinking and drugging and gambling and God knows what else was going on up in there, but it was a whole lot more than that. We had a good time. Oh, no, I would've been home earlier, but I met this girl named Shanique, and uh, Shanique was a freak. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> But then her mama came and she had to go, so she just left and then uh I left because she was gone, so I ain't want nothing else to do and so yeah. I'm gonna go to bed. Girl, what you want to eat tonight? Ooh, can we get McDonald's? You got McDonald's money? <laughs> we got food here. What's wrong with you? You right. <laughs> I sure don't got McDonald's money. <laughs> I don't even know why I would ask that. I mean we could just eat the food here that you already bought from the grocery store. <laughs> what? That was ungrateful of me. <laughs> what are my options? Bread and peanut butter. That sounds delicious. I mean, you ain't gotta have an attitude. I'm just saying. You ask me what I want, McDonald's is what I want. Hell, don't get mad at me. If you're broke, just say that. What's my options? Bread and peanut butter. And what else? That's it. So why would you ask me what I want if there's nothing in there? Nah, bro, see, you being funny. Bro, that used to be the most irksome stuff ever. Like, bro, don't ask me what do I want to eat. And then I'd be like, what we got? And you'd be like, that right there, bread and peanut butter. What else we got? We ain't got no brown beef or nothing like that. Do we got any noodles I can cook? Something, you know what I'm saying? Something I can whip up into like a meal. And you knew what I was gonna say. You did it on purpose. Wasn't you off today? So why didn't you go to the grocery store? Too busy sitting on your ass, that's why. You know what, don't even worry about it. I'll just go catch me a squirrel to eat or something. All oh, I need is some barbecue sauce. I'll be all right. We ain't got no more of that either. Damn it! Girl, I was going through your search history and I found something called Big Booty Beauties. What the hell is this? I don't know. I've never heard of that. I wouldn't look up anything like that. That's disgusting. I think my computer's been hacked. Uh, <laughs> well, see, uh... <laughs> Man, not the candle. <laughs> I think I'm ready for that birds and bees talk. Some of these, some of them I, I, I didn't experience for myself, but that last one, I, I ain't never experienced nothing like that. Shoot, thank you for the phone, and my phone wasn't linked to nobody's. So, hey. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I did. And that was another amazing video from Dara Maze. Comment below with videos, videos y'all want me to react to, and I try to get around to it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And share the video with your friends, too. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.